Well, yes, I assume that, that Russia feels hemmed in somewhat. On the other hand, you know, there was a NATO-Russia uh, dialogue, which I thought was quite productive, and so that both sides could understand each other. Uh, the Russians pulled out of that. The question of Ukraine coming in as a NATO member, of course, um, wasn't favorable um, in, in, uh, in Russia's terms, but there was no immediate proximate cause for Russia to invade Ukraine. Ukraine was not going to get into NATO right away. They don't, uh, it's been made very clear, they don't qualify on the basis of NATO membership. So, um, why the Russian, why the Russians did this is Putin trying to reestablish the Soviet Union, not necessarily, but at least the Soviet sphere of influence. And by doing so, he has violated every international law and international treaty, including the UN Charter that exists today. So instead of kind of bringing back Russia's name as a great power equal to the United States and NATO countries, He's actually damaged Russia's uh, reputation and Russia's place in the world. Doesn't make sense uh, to me, but uh, somehow in their rather strange logic, it probably makes sense to them. It, it's, it certainly looks as if they want to take over and install a puppet government, a government that would be favorable, that would not even think about uh, going into NATO or, or the European Union, uh, after all. Um, Ukraine has already made it a bid to get into the European Union. That would help Ukraine considerably in, uh, in its economic policies. It also will have to qualify to do that, and there will be some stipulations. But I think, um, uh, you know, it's hard to get into Putin's mind. I'll leave that to the armchair psychologist about whether he's stable or not. But he has had this kind of paranoia about uh, the... Uh, the old uh, regime having disappeared, the Soviet Union disappeared. Okay. He's described it himself as the greatest tragedy of the century. So this is weighing on his mind. Now, what's necessary now is to find some way, as Winston Churchill uh, said many years ago, jaw, jaw, instead of war, war. And we've got to find, well, the Ukrainians and the Russians have, to, have, have had a little bit of a dialogue already. There may be a, a, a middle ground that they can agree on with perhaps some added autonomy for for the Donbass um, uh, area. There's a negotiating. As a former diplomat, I always believe there's a negotiating agenda. But this is a hard one when the negotiating agenda is threatened by the kind of devastation that you're showing on your screen right now. Mm -hmm. Certainly can't make for peaceful talks. Here's what I would say about um, about what the Russians are doing now, what Putin is doing now. You know, it reminds me of the old um, Colin Powell, our former Secretary of State, General Colin Powell, but it was Secretary of State, who talked about the pottery barn solution. That is, if you break it, it's yours in the pottery barn, which means if you break a, a pot, it's, you have to buy it in this store. Does, does Russia really want to run Ukraine? That would be very difficult. There'd be a lot of op opposition. If they put a puppet government in, Ukrainian citizens are not going to accept that. So they've got a real dilemma on their hands. That's why, and plus the idea, the sanctions that are coming in are penalizing them greatly. Their economy is not in good shape at this point, and uh, it will get worse especially if it's cut off from the international financial system, which is what we and other countries are doing now. So these, uh, you know, sanctions are designed to change behavior. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, and sometimes they take a little time. These are not, it's not going to be an immediate reaction, I think, in any case. But they're a way of, of uh, trying to change behavior short of war. So I think so far the United States and the uh, Western countries have done a pretty good job and a strategic job of trying to dissuade Russia 
from basically just taking over Ukraine and destroying it. You can see the devastation that's happening already. Yeah. Russia is being condemned. People walked out uh, of the uh, uh, UN uh, General Assembly meeting uh, uh, today uh, when uh, the, um, the Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov began to speak. Uh, this is exactly the opposite of what Putin has said he wants to do, which is restore Russia's greatness. Yeah. Um, that may work on it to work on him and on his leadership to help, um, persuade them to find a peaceful solution to this with some concessions on both sides.